everybody and happy Saturday. I'm going to be vlogging today and not a whole lot planned but I'm definitely going to go get my eyebrows done and then um, run a couple errands and shop a little bit and then I am going to be DIYing a shirt that I was inspired by on ASOS and it's like this patched button down Oxford so I need to go pick up a couple oversized Oxfords because I'm going to make one and I've collected patches and I'm going to kind of tell you the story and I think it's an awesome project for a lot of you to do. I'm also expecting a package today that I'm really excited about, which I'll probably unbox in this vlog, and we're gonna get the day started. And Bubba's, Bubba's, are you ready to start the day? Are you ready to start the day too? Are you? He's a good boy. With that, we're gonna get the day rocking and rolling and uh, see what it brings us. Getting ready to work on a shirt that was actually inspired by another YouTuber. Um, she found this shirt on ASOS, I believe. This is Christy Russell's Instagram, and this was the shirt that kind of, ins well, not kind of, this is the shirt that inspired me. Like I said, I'll leave her YouTube channel and her Instagram all linked below. What I've been doing over the last two weeks is because I love this idea of this patch shirt, but when I was looking at them, I found ones with like patches with skulls or patches with like things that like didn't really mean anything to me or appeal to me. And I started thinking about it and I was like, why not collect patches and, that are really personal to you, that have really significant meaning and create your own shirt. So the last ones were delivered yesterday. So I ran out this morning and hurried up and picked up a extra large light blue Oxford shirt from Old Navy. It was like $30. So if I mess it up, I mess it up. But I got it really big because I want a lot of length and I want it to be really baggy and I love an oversized Oxford. If you check out my Instagram, you know that I love an oversized shirt and then like just a pair of like jeans cuffed and these are the patches that I've collected and I'll kind of tell you the meaning about them. So if you've watched any video on my channel, you know the significance around hummingbirds and my grandmother. So these came as a pair. I don't know if I'll use both, but I thought they were just so cool and um, I love the significant. I got these pineapple patches and pineapples are like the symbol of like welcoming and acceptance and friendship. So I got these pineapples to add onto the shirt. Then I also got an anchor and that's this idea of like, what are the things that are most important to you? What keeps you grounded? Next, I found an evil eye. I really love the idea around evil eyes, like warding off good, really positive. And I have a lot of other evil eye pieces. So I got that to add. Just some stars to fill in like any negative space that I need to and then a little okay sign to remind yourself that it's always going to be okay. So I'm going to work on laying this out, talk to you a little bit about it and then I'll start ironing them on. It's kind of just really easy going. So I have the hummingbird up there. And then at the bottom, I put the two stars, the okay sign, the pineapple at the very base of it. And then on the sleeve, I have the anchor. And I think I'm pretty pleased with that. So I think I'm gonna iron them on and commit to it. Um, I'll either never wear it again, or I will end up loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press those on and see how it turns out. I think I really love it. I might actually wear it out tonight. Um, that is if Steven and I decide to go out tonight. Um, but I really like it. I think it's super fun and I'm excited about it. Um, I'm waiting for a delivery. It should be coming any minute and I'm going to unbox it on camera. And as you know, today is the day of the announcement. So right after the package comes, because I don't wanna be interrupted, I'm gonna go ahead and film my January favorites video, which I have some really great favorites this month. I'm so excited to share them with you. And it was actually a really hard list to create. Um, but I'm super excited to film that and get that posted. And in that video, I'm going to make all the announcements around the luxury giveaway because I promised it today and I'm so excited about it and share all the details. Um, but we'll just wait for that delivery. 
the package that I was waiting for has arrived. So I have my uh, fancy boxing knife for this very special occasion. And let's go ahead and dig in. Oh my goodness. Hold on, wait till you see this. I am so excited about this. Hey, this box is beautiful and like so heavy. Here's the box again. Some foam wrap. And here is the item. If you watch my Instagram, you probably actually know what this is going to be. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will put my handle right here. Please follow me. I post a lot. Um, I'm also going to be bringing some very creative content to Instagram, so please follow me there. Um, but if you have been following me there, you might know what this is. So let's go ahead and untie the dust bag. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Um, so this is the Burberry X, the Burberry Large Nylon Rucksack, and I had it monogrammed with my initials. Um, and it is everything I thought it would be and more. Um, what's amazing about this is they have these buckles, but they actually just snap. Then you have the whole inside interior pocket, and it is enormous and so big. And then you have this pot, you have this front pocket and the side pockets. Oh, it is so nice. I'm so pumped about this. Um, the reason I picked this is because I wanted like a really great bag to travel with. I always take my Louis Vuitton duffel, but like as far as a carry-on to like shove under the seat plane, I, the seat plane, to shove under the plane of the seat, I wanted something like big and dark so it didn't show a lot of dirt. And then also wanted something like when you're traveling and you want to like carry stuff for the day with you, I wanted something that was still really cute and like stylish um, and really comfortable in a backpack form. So um, yeah, uh, I saw one similar to this on Christina Brawley's channel and I was like, that is such a great way to travel. So decided to get it. We have had a really productive morning so far. We have taken care of an unboxing. We have made a shirt. I have also picked up around the house and now I'm gonna go ahead and hop on my Peloton bike and get a workout in. And then I want to do a little bit of filming this afternoon. I want to get a plan with me video up for the weekend. And um, yeah, so there's still lots of things to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here and get my workout going. and I am looking good. Um, I am just going to throw on a baseball cap and my North Face coat and head off to Target real quick because I just have to grab a couple things. I'm not going to worry about cleaning up. And then I'm going to get back, get cleaned up, and take care of business. But I figured while my sneakers are on, might as well get going. So, uh, yep. Hey, everyone. So, um, it is now around like 4 o'clock. I'm still in my North Face jacket and my workout clothes because I went to Target and got home and just like got in a total fit of like cleaning and rearranging and restyling things. So I'm actually going to be starting dinner pretty soon. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I grabbed at Target because I'm really excited about it. So Steven and I have really been trying to, um, oh sorry, I'm like knocking stuff over. Steven and I have really been trying to um, get like a global boho kind of feel to our home. Um, that's very much my style and Steven just uh, kind of goes along with it and uh, supports everything I want to do because he's great like that. And uh, he has ended up really liking it. So I'm going to show you what I picked up at Target and I think it's pretty amazing. So 
I think an easy way to get a vibe of that boho global design is just to find really great pillows with texture and really mix pillows up. So I was able to find a bunch of different pillows to really just jazz it up. And these Mongolian ones that have like this pink fur to them are really great. And when I brought them in, Stephen kind of questioned them, but once you see them in the space, it really works. Another easy, quick way to get that boho design to your home is like one big green leafy plant. We found this one and I absolutely love it. And that's kind of where we're at right now. There's still a few pieces that I'm looking to get, but um, so far really loving just the way this is turning out. Another thing as far as like home design and decor that drives me crazy are cords. So I'm just gonna share a little tip. I know this is no big secret, but I hate when cords show. So like, for example, a table like this, the cords will really quickly show, but the way I do it is I always buy a lamp A that has that clear cord to it. And then all you have to do, and it ain't pretty, but just take your light cord and wrap it around the base of the table and just tape the crap out of it so that it's up there. And I do that with all of our lamps because I cannot stand a cord. So that would be my recommendation. And then I'll take you into our office. And in our office, I decided to float our desk in the middle of the room. So I'll show you how, if you want to float your desk, how to do it. So all those cords would be creating a huge, huge mess. So what I simply did is I ran them down the leg, taping them with transparent tape, cut a hole in my area rug, and then fished it to the outlets. I did the same thing over here with the lamp. Once again, a clear cord, taped it down the leg, poked a hole in the carpet, and ran it to the nearest outlet. It is a way to keep all those cords concealed so that you could still float the desk in the middle of the room, but don't have any of those wires. I know it's a pretty logical tip, but it really has been working for me. And I love the idea of poking that hole in the area rug and then running them out to outlets because it really, really comes in handy. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna get cleaned up and probably just rest the rest of the evening, make some dinner, prep some lunches for the week and call it a night. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you found something in it that was helpful. And if you make one of those shirts, please, please um, hit me up on Instagram. Once again, uh, my handle is in the description box below, but I'll also put it on the screen. I would love to see if you made one of those shirts. I'm gonna end this vlog like I end all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Until next time, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.